Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and today I'll be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare versus Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So, uh, the reason why I took a little bit to talk about the situation is because, well, I have to test out all the guns and maps and pretty much see how the developers update the game and nerf weapons and all that stuff. So, now that I've seen all of that, I can talk about this peacefully. So, first things first will be the weapons. You know, the weapons in Modern Warfare, and I said it before, and I'll say it again, they're very impactful. They're more realistic, the damage is there, they're not too nerfed. Some of the weapons did get a little bit more recoil on, and a little bit of damage range reduction, but they're still strong, which I like. Now, this is where Black Ops 4 does fail to do, keep the gun consistency. And there was way too many nerfs in Black Ops 4 towards the end of the year. Most of the guns, it felt like you're shooting gummy bears out of the weapon. It was really ridiculous. It was really bad. I don't know why they did this, but that's how they handled weapons back in Black Ops 4. They nerfed everything to oblivion. So uh, compared to Modern Warfare over the past few months, I mean, the game has been doing good with the weapons. So uh, I have no complaints there. The next thing I want to talk about will be the attachments per weapons. Now, this is something that really surprised me a lot. And I was like, man, I'm glad this is back. Or at least, you know, has some something coming back from a different game. So in Battlefield 4, you know how they had so many attachments available for you for every single weapon. You know, they brought it back into Modern Warfare now, even though they're both different companies. But like, you know, you know what I mean? You know, the feeling is there again, where I can just customize whatever gun to my own feeling. Either I can make it like into a short range combat weapon or long range. So that that's what I enjoy the most about this game. I can customize my guns however I want. So that was my biggest like love for the game uh, the thing in black ops 4 though it was very limited on all the guns i don't know why they did this but that was the biggest minus of the whole freaking game why the hell would they make all the guns limited on attachments i don't know but that's how black ops 4 had it um so the next thing i want to talk about will be the maps the maps are more memorable on black ops 4 i'm not gonna lie and i'm not gonna sugarcoat this the modern warfare maps are a little bit too boring like it really is i played the six Fisher six maps they're not that good piccadilly you know and the, the bridge map and all these maps all the original maps for modern warfare are not that good to be honest i'd rather play some more black ops 4 maps but you know the weapons over there kind of suck so uh it's like a you know it's a love or hate you know i don't know you can trade it off and so one game will be good in one thing the other game's gonna be good at the other so it sucks that they have to split up like that you know um, anyways, the next thing will be the player base. Now, this is something that for sure nobody talked about, but for me, it happened occasionally. Back in Black Ops 4, my biggest complaint was that too many people quit mid-match. But it's not because we were losing, it's because we were winning. This is one of the weirdest, mysterious things of all time, where my teammates will actually quit midway, even though we were ahead by 50 points in domination, they would just quit. So it would be one-sided, it was three, 3 versus 6, and we end up losing because the team, the enemy team ended up making a comeback. So this will happen every single day I played in Black Ops 4, and it was one of my biggest complaints, and I see it too many times, guys. I saw it too many times, and compared to Modern Warfare right now, I'll play the 6v6 modes, even though they're, they're boring as hell. Um, the player base does stay for a full match, even when they're getting wrecked, even when they're doing good. The player base, the players in the lobby, are staying to play a full match. So to me, I believe there's more warriors here in, in Call of Duty Modern Warfare compared to Black Ops 4, where I feel like they're a little bit of a coward player base. But, oh well, you know, that's how Activision, you know, separates their player base because Treyarch and Infinity Ward. But anyways, uh, the next thing will probably be the uh, specialists. Now, this is something that I'll probably make a different video on because I want to see... How people might react if people uh, see specialists in modern warfare, but there was a way they could have worked this out. So I'll probably talk about it in a separate video because I know specialists here in this game are just decorations. That's it. It's just cosmetics. It's cosmetic skins. But they could have done better with it. So with that is it, guys. I wanted to talk about today. This is just part one of, of the whole series of you know Black Ops 4 versus Modern Warfare. I'll probably talk about it in the next video about the specialist. And um if you guys got any questions, any moans, groans, or complaints about Call of Duty Modern Warfare, let me know in the comment section, and I'll read it later. So that is it, guys. I'll see you guys later.